What's up everybody, it's your boy Nick Noodles coming at you with another great video. I hope you all like this new camera angle I've been doing um, where I put it like at the front of my desk and I speak into my new microphone. Um, I think it sounds a lot better and looks a little bit better and it's nice to change up the scenery. Um, I also want to thank everybody for the support this year in 2020. This will probably be one of my last videos of the year, if not my last one. Um, it really depends on how much time I have to make some of these videos that I want to. But um, we will be back in 2021. Don't worry, this channel is not going anywhere. But again, I just want to thank everybody that tuned in this year and continues to support this channel. In today's video, we have a live cop recap of the Nike Bodega Dunk High that released. I think they're calling it like the Legend colorway or something like that. Um, and honestly, I'm not a really big fan of this shoe. Um, it's a unique concept, I guess, but I just don't like the colors and the materials and how it looks. I think it's a little bit too loud for me, and it doesn't really belong on a Dunk High, in my opinion. I think Dunk Highs are supposed to just be a really simple shoe, so I am happy I was able to hit manually. Um, I have the footage playing in the background right now. And the site was actually pretty smooth. I remember in the past when they've done these New Balance releases, the site has just been ass. I couldn't even like cart stuff or it would just give you like a Shopify error. Um, so today it was pretty smooth. They actually had the hard CAPTCHA um, set up where you have to like answer a question and then click through CAPTCHAs. That seems to be helping manual users a lot because um, I don't think there's a lot of Shopify bots out there that can handle that hard CAPTCHA question. Um, some can, some can't I believe. Um, so that definitely helps manual users in my opinion. This checkout was just super simple, mainly because I was using Cardinal Autofill. Um, if you're not following them on Twitter, they're currently out of stock, but I love this autofill so much. It cooks Supreme, it cooks any Shopify release. As long as you can get through a Shopify queue, Cardinal is gonna check out for you. It's that overpowered. Um, as soon as the text box comes out, um, it's already autofilled everything and it's pretty much clicking next to get to the next stage of the checkout. It's helped me cook Palace a bunch of times as well as FTP. The only really drawback of this autofill is that you have to get past the queue. Um, it can't get around that. Not a lot of bots can actually bypass the queue. And so that's one of the things that makes Shopify super annoying, but can also bless the manual side of things. But yeah, this was just one of the lucky days where Shopify blessed me and actually let me through the queue. Um, unfortunately, on a bunch of the other releases this year, I was not so lucky, like the Union release. Um, a lot of people hit manual on that release. Some people even got like two pairs and I was just stuck in the Shopify queue. It was just spinning in circles, wouldn't let me through. If I had made it past that queue, I definitely would have gotten a pair, but it is what it is. I am happy to take one dunk. This is actually my first W on a dunk for retail. I've missed out on every other release. I am planning on selling it. I got a size nine and a half and the market is gonna tank a little bit because we still have these sneakers release coming out um, in two days and so, by that time, I think that these are going to be probably under 250. They're going to be very similar, I think, in price to the Turd Duncans, unless they're just like super limited and they don't release like any on the sneakers app. One thing I am very excited about is Bodega is sending out friends and family vouchers. And so what that means is there's a friends and family pair that's pretty much all white. And if you get this voucher with the package that Bodega sends you, then you get that friends and family pair for free, which I don't think I've ever seen that done before. Usually friends and family is for friends and family and thus very hard to acquire. But the odds are one in 20, which is actually like a pretty decent chance. That's a 5% chance. Um, so you know, maybe luck will be on my side. You also get like some trading cards or whatever. I don't know what that's about. I am very excited to get that in hand. If you want to see the unboxing and see if I get the friends and family pair, then definitely leave a comment down below. Um, so that pretty much wraps up that release. Super hyped to take a W. Now I want to go over some stuff I picked up or that just came in. Um, so I hope you all like the rest of this video. We have a never before seen box logo um, that my sister actually got for me. And this thing, this thing is crazy, man. I don't think y'all are ready for this box logo. Bro, we got the Fall Winter 20 unreleased. We got the Simp Prime box logo, man. Now, this thing is absolutely fire. Um, my sister got this for me as a gift. It is uh, hand embroidered, you know, so it is it is one of one. I think it was even made in um, Italy too. So, you know, it's got that designer quality to it, but super, super happy about this um, collaboration that my sister did with Supreme. <laughs> um, Obviously, I'm joking, but when I opened this on Christmas, it was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, I probably will never wear this out in public, but, you know, it'll make a good shirt to maybe wear in my videos or even wear around the house. We also were able to pick up a Mariah Carey tee on a um, restock using Gideon IO. But um, this tee is super clean. I wish I had gotten this manually. 
Um, but if you watched my live cop, you knew that I was using the wrong address to check out. So I pretty much took an instant L on every single T that week. Um, and these are actually doing pretty well on the market. Some of these in like XL and smaller selling better than the cross box logo, which is kind of crazy. There were only four colorways for this T. And so that probably is driving up the price. I got this pine green one and um, in hand, this pine green is very, very nice. Um, it's definitely a Christmassy vibe shirt. I think this is actually the best colorway for this t-shirt, um, just because you get the red from the Mariah Carey um, and it matches perfectly with this green. Um, I don't know why it's $48, $10 more than the other tees. I guess because it has a pretty detailed screen print on it. Um, but I mean, other, other than that, the tee is pretty much the same as any other Supreme tee. Love, peace, and happiness to everyone this holiday season. Don't be carried away under the mistletoe this year, okay? Happy holidays. My parents also got me some Supreme stuff. Uh, they got me like that SIG water bottle, and unfortunately, I don't have it with me. Um, I'm going back for New Year's Eve to visit my parents again, so um, I'll have the bottle then. It's a pretty nice bottle, though. They also got me the uh, Hanes socks. Um, so, you know, there's nothing too special about these. I'm actually glad they kind of got this and not like something else because, you know, you can't go wrong with the Hanes socks. Um, and along with that, they also got me the Hanes tees. And, um, you know, the tee isn't terrible. There's like a small box logo on it. It definitely feels a little bit nicer, I feel like, than some of the other Hanes tees they do. I used to be a lifeguard, so like I pretty much only wore Hanes white tees for like one whole summer. Um, as my uniform. If I was in the Supreme at that time, I probably would have bought the white ones to wear um, as my uniform. This just came in this morning. Um, I was super glad I woke up and it was on my uh, doorstep, but this is the Richie Lee um, like wool plaid jacket. And um, if you don't watch Richie Lee, which I don't know why you don't if you watch this channel because he's one of the biggest like sneaker, hype beast, streetwear YouTubers at the moment. Um, super cool guy. His videos are always funny. And um, he actually has a um, like merch line or clothing line called the Richie Lee Collection. And they just did a drop like last week. And I'm surprised they actually got it out this fast. Um, and they released a bunch of different stuff. But the main thing that I wanted was this um, plaid jacket. And um, I'm amazed at the quality of this thing. I mean, it was like $96 in total after tax and shipping. The wool or like pla the wool that they use is like pretty thick, so it's pretty warm and it has like these nice buttons on the side. Um, I don't really know what the point of this is. I guess it's just for aesthetic because I don't know why you would want to roll this jacket up. Um, but I mean, the material is just super, super high quality. Um, I have no doubt that you can wash this a few times and it'll still pretty much be brand new. Um, the inside is like insulated with this material. I don't know what this material is, um, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty warm and cozy on the East coast. You know, it doesn't get too, too cold during the winter. So, um, this will definitely be a nice piece and like this would keep you warm. Um, this design also uses a zipper. It's not a button up. Um, but I'm I'm super impressed by the quality of this thing. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Again, I'm super appreciative of everybody who watches these. Until next time, though, I will see you on the next video, maybe in 2021, maybe on New Year's Eve. Um, we'll have to see, but I hope everyone has a blessed day.